And to level one, and welcome back to Skeleton Simulator. The last episode, we had to fight skeletons. In this episode, we're going to fight more skeletons. Please excuse me, Mr. Skeleton. And to level one, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. Last episode, we got most of the way through the catacombs. This episode, hopefully, we'll finish it off. First of all, I want to kind of apologize for the weird delays in episodes last week. The thing was, is that I had the... I had one of the episodes scheduled to upload on Wednesday, and then it just didn't. YouTube clearly messed up. And so, I want to notice this on Thursday, when I went to preemptively upload the last episode, uh, for, like, Friday's episode, I just had to re-upload Wednesdays instead. So then I uploaded Fridays on Saturday. So, yep, just a quick explanation as to what's going on there. I can't remember if I killed the necromancer around here or not. Hopefully I did. We'll find out. Oh, I did. So that's all good. I'm trying to remember exactly what I have and haven't done, because it's been about a week since I played. Oh. Also, I forgot to close my window. Foolish of me. There we go. I've been in here, I know I have. So I don't need to do that again. Oh, I have to come along here, that's it. Fun times. Fun times indeed. Uh oh. Kind of forgot about those. On the bright side, you can kind of use these wisps to your advantage sometimes. Oops. Actually hit the skeleton. Uh oh, wisp. I think the wisps do magic damage as well. They can like nearly one hit the skeletons a lot of the time. So yeah, try and use that to your advantage. Oh, yeah, I forgot. These guys still have a necromancer, so I've got to find him. So I'm going to run away. Hopefully the skeletons don't chase me in here. They probably will, but yeah, look, here he comes. Please go away, skeleton. I think he's still coming. Well, as you see, there's another one of those weird demon things down there, but we obviously... Oh, my skeleton's going away, so we can actually fight him. I'm trying to think of what's the best approach here. Do I have any, like, projectiles or anything? Yeah, not really. Not anything of, enough to make it worthwhile. Oh, I've got... Actually, I've got fireballs. Oh, come on. Uh, fine, then. I guess I'll have to come back here in a sec and fight him once I've destroyed the necromancer that's governing that skeleton. So, we have to quickly make our way down here. Ow. Ow. Skeletons on the ladder. So just drop down. Be careful, that floor breaks. Don't fall down there. I think that one does as well. I think, actually, I'm, uh, one of them does at least. But just rather not walk on either of them. Now, this, this encounter is annoying because there's the necromancer in between those two arches. So, you got to get in between them. Luckily, I'm pretty sure the archers don't switch to anything. Oh, oh nope. Uh-oh. Lag. Really bad. Frame rate. Well, this is getting awkward. Okay. I ain't dead. Still living. Okay. Oh. There are more out here. Oh, I'm nearly dead again already. Do you know what? Let's do it. Do you know what? Let's do the take the easy. Oh my god, I got headshot. Head if you get headshot by a projectile, you get stunned for way longer. Oh dear. And our friends, Bone Wheel Skeletons, are here. These guys are evil, as you'll see. Yep, well, on the very side I killed the necromancer. I kind of expected that to happen after how poorly that went. I should have just rushed straight back to the ladder, but I didn't. So yeah, make note of that. I normally do rush straight back to the ladder. Oh well, looks like I'm going to have to make my way back there. On the bright side, it's not too much of a trek. I think actually there's a shortcut along here. I may be mistaken. 
But if you hop down here, you hop down here. You can get to, uh, oh, you get to here. You get the great scythe. Yeah, this is, if you remember there was a, um, in this room, there was an item up here you can get. That's how you get it. Great scythe is actually a really good dex weapon. I'm tempted to use it, honestly, but it's a bit too good. I might just not bother just because it's like, you know, OP. Being then we end up down here where we were anyway. So it worked out okay. Back away, Wisp. Be yeah, careful there. AoE does tend to last for a while as well. So let's try and get over here. Get these Wisps to come over. Make this easy for us. Come on, Wisps. As you'll see, nearly kills all the skeletons. One poke, dead. Oh, sometimes they just roundly explode. Oh yeah, he tried to parry me there. I'm just gonna kick him. And skeleton down. So there's one more wisp over there just hanging out. But there's no point in bothering to go out of your way to deal with them because they just tend to hang around wherever they are. And they're too slow to follow you anywhere anyway. So anyway, now we can fight this thing. I'm just going to take a sip before I do. Right. Might as well be at full health. I'm going to see how much a fireball does because I doubt it does much. Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, this guy has substantially more HP than the other one we fought. Oh, yeah, that tends to have a lingering hitbox to it. I might take the easy way out and just shoot him with arrows a lot. I might do that, actually, now that I think about it. Because I still have loads of arrows from um, way long ago, back when we got the Drake Sword. Oh. Well, that was an oversight by me. I don't have enough dexterity. I've only got the longbow on me. I don't have enough dexterity. Well, I guess I'm not doing the coward's way out then. Unfortunate. Oh, well, I guess I'll do this the hard way. Yeah. Fighting him in this enclosed space is a bit of an annoyance. Especially because it's like really hard to avoid that attack in here. On the bright side, seeing as we have decent armor now, it's a bit easier not to instantly die. It's better just to probably, like, dodge back when it comes to that attack. Yeah, just dodge away. Yeah, he'll also sometimes do a hop back. So you can just, like... Sometimes you can actually lure him out of... I tried to roll, but I think I was out of stamina. Oh dear. I lost all those souls from... Oh, I lost all those souls down there as well, like 5,000. Thanks, the first time I've lost souls. Eh, uh, might not be the first time I've lost souls. Probably not, actually. No, because I lost them earlier in the cat camps. Well, in that case, I'm going to cut it until I'm back there with that guy. Actually, probably until I'm back there and I've killed him, because it's a long, grueling, pointless... Ugh. Mess of a time. So yeah, I'll cut it to when I've killed him, so I'll see you in a bit. Oh. Well, that was quick. I never normally die to this guy, so it's kind of surprising. What? You know what? After spending nearly 10 minutes fighting that guy, because I am being crap about it. I have decided I will save that for later. Because clearly, it's not going well. So I'll do it off screen when my weapon's a bit less crap. <sighs> oh well. I mean, to be fair, it's to do with something that I want to get done later anyway. Because that doesn't actually take us any further into the catacombs by doing that. So it's no biggie, really. Oh, and those souls are right next to him. It, uh, 
Yeah. But yeah, he's not actually that hard to fight. I'm just being crap about it. It's, probably, it's mainly that I don't have that much HP, so I keep getting like nearly one shot by him, as you saw a second ago. Luckily, he has really short vision range because it's dark in here, so he can just nip in there and take it. Anyway, let's go back down here to Funland. Oh yeah, the skeletons, they're going to be... So what we want to do is let's try and see if we can... Yep. There we go. Oh, I thought I killed him. I kind of let myself get hit there. Oh well. Let's just actually do the p bit of this I intended to do in the first place. I'm going to come down here. There's a couple more things we want to do before we finish off this area. Ow. Oh. I wanted to avoid that happening. Ow. And apparently headshots make you lag. For some reason, if blood comes out really close to the screen, it makes it lag loads. Like, don't know why. It's really odd. Yeah, we don't want to go out there. That's Bone Wheel Town, as you saw. And those are pretty much one of the most OP, ridiculously insane enemies in the game. No fun. Because they can just keep hitting you. Because just the act of them rolling does loads of damage, and they just keep doing it for like loads of hits. So, and also if you try to block it, it just drains all your stamina. But we want to actually go down here now, because we're lucky we're, I guess, invincible during that. But yeah, this guy, he's probably one of the most powerful Black Knights in terms of when you normally fight him. Because the catacombs can be done right at the beginning of the game, or right near the end. It's a bit of a weird area. You want to watch out for that. He's got a lot of really weirdly fast attacks for a great axe wielder. Also, all his attacks, like, leave him, like, in a really weird angle. I think he's got this insanely fast leaping attack as well. I might be wrong. But yeah, you want to be aware that he is rather dangerous. Also, I don't like parrying him, so I don't try. Hang on. Luckily, the great axe he wields is actually rather short range, whereas when you get the version that players can use, it's actually rather long range. It's a bit weird. Okay, let's try and get behind him. The thing is, is that a lot of the time... Oh, great, that's a wisp. See, there's a wisp over there. Okay. Yeah, there he is. Look at him. He's watching. Look at him. He's like poking out. Hey, wisp. Oh. But there's our friends, the bone wheel skeletons. They. This area is hell. It's just hell really is. If I can clear it out, though, it'll be great. <sighs> He's already noticed me, I think. I think he had, sometimes they actually come all the way up here. I don't think bone wheels can climb ladders, though. Sometimes they just roll into this... Actually, if you come down here, they sometimes just roll into the wall a lot. If I can, I'd like to be able to throw stuff down at them. But knowing my luck, I won't be able to... Yeah. I don't want to fall down there, though, because that's just instant death. Kind of back myself into the corner, kid. Don't roll. Yeah, that's just a meat grinder of pain and suffering down there. I'm trying to, like, not fall myself off the edge here. And Ralph's casts. Great. I'm trying to think of a way out here. There might not be one. Unfortunately, I have very much backed myself into a corner. Um. As you can see, even if you get hit by the back of the bone wheel, you still take damage. You see that? That is pretty much why... No! The bone wheel is insane. 
Oh, come on. The only way to... Six oh! That was obscenely long range. The only way to successfully deal with the bone wheel in the ideal situation is to outright avoid its attacks. Oh, they're all coming towards me at once. Ugh. I want to aggro one at once, but they... All are, okay, the other two are like backing off. Nope. Okay, that one's noticed me, so I'm going to try and back off a bit. Yeah, as you can see, when you get... Luckily, they... One nice thing is that they only don't have insane amounts of health. Oh god, my stick's getting all iffy. Stop. Oh, yeah, sometimes I... For some reason, sometimes they fall through that wall. I forgot about that. It, I've had it happen to me a lot. But sometimes they'll drive too far into that wall and just fall through it. <laughs> I don't think the... Do they ever die? Because I'm not getting souls. I think there might be one or two more dotted around. As you'll see, this whole area is just basically skeletons. They've just th been thrown all down here. Why these ones don't revive? Dunno. Oh, there you go. Souls. It took a long time for those bone wheels to fall and die. I think there might be one around here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Might be wrong there. No, there's not. Well, in that case, there's a couple last things we want to do before we finish this off. As you see, there's an item up there. So we want to get that. Which reminds me, in the previous episode, we actually got this. A skull Lantern. And I never mentioned it. Skull Lantern of the cat Catacombs Necromancers. Dro droops from his long beard locks. Which it actually doesn't, but it's assumed that in an earlier design... They actually had them inside their beards, which is weird. But they don't anymore. These Latins are like the Tomb of the Giants, Nito's Light, Devouring Domain of Death. So it serves fire damage strike weapon. Basically, it's just a lantern. It's one of the only. There's like three or four sources of light in the game. This is one of them, pretty much. I think there's a spell, there's a piece of headgear, and there's this. And that's about it. So, whatever one you can... But this is the one that's easiest to get. Well, actually, technically. If you're... Well, uh, just in terms of if you're not a mage, this one's the easiest way to do it. We're going to come our way back up here because we're going to go and get that item. Also, I'll put the pyromancy glove back on. I call it a pyromancy glove, but it's not a glove at all. Like, in any way. It's just um, a flame. I don't know. They don't really go into specifics of... Because, like... Um, he just gives it to you. What's his name? He's got a really long name. I always forget it. But he get, the Pyromancer guy just gives you the flame. He's like, here you go. Your very own flame. And it's like, oh, that was easy. Duh. I forgot. These guys came back for some reason. Oh, yeah, because I never killed them. Well, this is unfortunate. I've completely forgot I hadn't killed these guys already. Whoa! That skeleton just launched himself at me. I'm kind of letting myself get killed here. And I definitely don't want to die now that I finally cleared out all the bone wheels. Oh, come on, that... I really hate that attack, it's like so far. There we go. Now. Oh, wisp. Now I'm gonna kinda of drop down here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think this is it. Yep. That's a lot of damage though. Then you get large soul the name of soldier and whatever's down here. I don't die from this drop. I don't think I will. Yeah. Don't want to waste an Estus because it's just before a boss fight. Hopefully we won't need that many Estus though. But we get a Mace and Priest set. Which is nice, I guess. So, whoop de doo There's one more thing, though. You hear that? Well, there's a reason for that. We're going to go find it. Also, I like how these two have actually perfectly propped up. Ruin it. So I'll cut to when I get to the area we want to get to. 
I'll see you in a bit. And anyway, here we are back in this room. We want to come down here. And hopefully we can leave this guy off the edge. Yep. Yep. There we go. Just as planned. And that's where we got the great scythe, if you remember. So there's a necromancer down here. And you remember I fell to my death. There's a reason there's a pit here. Because we want to drop down it. Oh, that skeleton didn't die. whoop de doo And also, I just want to check. Do we have any healing items? Because I probably want to heal. Oh, we got humanity. That's all we got. Well. Yeah, you want to be at decent health when you drop down here. I'm going to waste some humanity. No, oh, it didn't do as much damage as I remember. Let's just quickly murder this skeleton. And we'll meet one of the weirdest characters in the game. This guy raises so much questions, it's not even funny. I mean, what is he a skeleton of? He's really wide and weird shaped. Why does he have a bone beard? What? How does he talk? What, who is he making weapons for? It's like, he's one of the weirder characters. And honestly, it's one of those times where they just had a good idea of like a skeleton smith. They're like, this is a really cool idea, let's just use it. He doesn't make sense in terms of like, the rules of the undead and, well, technically the dead, because the skeletons are meant to be specifically dead in this. Because the undead are the people who fucking, like us. Oops, I swore, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. But, yeah. Bit of a weird guy, but I forgot to mention, his main purpose is that he does fire weapons, basically. There are three types of fire weapons. Well, actually, there's two types of fire weapons. There's fire and there's chaos. And he can do those. He can get fire to plus 10 and chaos to plus 5. And chaos is basically just A, it scales with humanity, and B, it does more fire damage than physical, whereas fire is more physical and less fire. Also, fire doesn't scale with anything, whereas chaos scales with humanity, as I said. But yeah, with that said and done, that's pretty much all we got to do until we the boss fight. So, I'm going to do it, even though the episode's been quite long already. I'm going to get this done, because trust me, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Welcome to one of the weirdest boss fights in the game. Now, for this boss fight, the first tip is don't get hit by his magic axe, and the second tip, tip is don't lose track of the real one. If you do these two things, the fight will be insanely easy. I think I've already done just that. Nope, I haven't. That's the real one. Be aware that his copies can shoot magic just as much as he can. Normally, this fight is over in a few seconds, but I fortunately it's a bit slow about it. I want to heal. I want to heal game. But as you'll see, this boss's health is insanely low. And this is considered widely to be one of the easiest boss fights in the game. Even if you fight... Even if you um, do this fight right at the beginning of the game. As you'll see, over and done. Easy peasy. I admit, I've died a grand total of once to this boss fight in my entire career of this game. I do admit that. 
but it was mainly down to the PTSD of the catacombs. And as you'll see, we now have the Rite of Kindling, which is the thing I was talking about way earlier that allows us to get bonfires up to allowing us more Estus Flasks. And we actually get up to 20 now, but we have to kindle it twice. Once for each five extra Estus Flasks. But that's nice. And we'll just quickly read through the item, because it's an interesting item. It makes no sense, but it's an interesting item. This secret light about right allows bonfires to be bolstered further with kindling, so that even more Estus can be collected. Kindling... Ugh. I really can't read, can I? Kindling was a sacred rite passed down among clerics, but all undead can imitate the process in the same manner that they restore their hollowing with humanity. How peculiar that humans have found little use to their humanity until they turned undead. Indeed. And with this we get... Da -da 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 -da. Aww, boring. You never want the mask of the mother. You always want the other two. Oh, I just realized I should probably show what that is. One of the three masks of the pinwheel, the necromancer who stole the power of the Grave Lord and reigns over the catacombs. This mask, oh, belonging to the mother, the kindly mother, slightly raises HP. You get 10% extra base HP if you wear that mask. And you can get either of any of his three masks, and they all raise a certain attribute. The mask of the father, which is the best one, of course, raises your equip load. The mask of the child raises your stamina recovery. And the mother's HP. And basically, come in here, and you don't want to go in here, ever. This is the Tomb of the Giants. There is nothing we can really do here. Also, it's dark, which is why you want the Skull Lantern, which I will show. As you see, way better. Yep, Tomb of the Giants. We are not going here, because there's nothing we can really do here of value until way later on. You can technically go through a large portion of this area, but you can't even get to the final part, which is the important part, until way later. So don't bother. It's too much hassle. The enemies in there are pretty painful. And yeah, so it's basically an end game area. So we're going to take the shortcut back out. It's all for Proud Knight. And that's pretty much it for this episode. So, thanks for watching. Join us in the next episode, where we will be going to... <sighs> the lovely area past the depths that we got the key to. Blight Town. That's right, we're going to Blight Town. Yay. But yeah. Until then, see ya.